Hi friends! Welcome to my craft room slash office slash only room that really gets any sun. Um, we're gonna mix it up and do a little about me video today. Um, just because why not? So, hi, I'm Maria. I live in California. I work in game dev. All opinions are my own. Um, I have a lot of crafts. I would say I have a lot of hobbies and most of them keep me inside. That would be a, maybe a better way to put it. Um, I sew both clothing. Um, I was going to say, is that it? No, you can't see. Um, and quilts. This is actually a quilt that I sewed by hand. Well, this is the top that I sewed by hand. It's up here because I'm actually in the process, finally, two years later, of making it into an actual finished quilt. Um, it has taken so long because I'm intimidated by it. It was a lot of sewing by hand. Um, <laughs> as I'm sure you can maybe imagine. Um, a lot of people think that sewing by hand is really hard, but a quilt like this would be harder to make using a machine than it is to make by hand. It just takes longer by hand. Um, anyway, I'm totally digressing. This is possibly the fourth or fifth time I've pressed start record. Here we are. So my hobbies, <laughs> sewing, uh, not as much anymore, but knitting, reading, playing video games, hiking, baking, cooking, eating, maybe drinking wine. I don't think that's a hobby. It's a way of life. Um, <laughs> collecting various things. I collect, and I didn't start out to be a collector, but I do essentially collect fabric and yarn and fountain pens and fountain pen ink. The yarn and fabric feel different to me because they feel like acquiring craft supplies. And the fountain pen ink, perhaps, I do write um, daily in a journal, but journaling is not one of my verbs. Um, I write. <laughs> and in my mind, there's a difference. I mentioned hiking. I got really into it in 2022, largely because um, I needed to be out in the sun more. I needed to be outside and I needed exercise. And I'm still uncomfortable being indoors with other people without masks. Um, that's my comfort, <laughs> no judgment. Um, there's a big cloud bank rolling in right now. Um, apparently it's going to freeze here, not tonight, but I think tomorrow night. Anyway, I started making YouTube videos years ago I don't know if any of those videos are still up, but I would, you know, it's one of those like wanting to share parts of your life with people who aren't present. So I would, um, a, a, an ex-boyfriend, um, had, has a sailboat and we went on a sailing trip and I took video on that trip because I'll be honest, it was kind of a traumatic experience for me. Is that true? It was a bad experience. I don't know if it meets the level of trauma, but it was not a good experience. Um, anyway, so I took video of it as one does. Um, and I put that up on YouTube because how else is anybody going to see it? <laughs> and um, I started making more videos when my mom got me a snack box. It was featuring snacks from around the world. And I wanted her to be able to see what was in this gift that she got me. So I had a six-month subscription to it. 
and I and these videos are still up. You can see me opening them and getting excited about the things in them. And some and I even started filming the like I'm gonna taste these and share that experience too. Because I was very cut off in 2020. I live alone and I didn't see anybody and that was awful. Uh, I know I'm not alone in that experience. Despite my literally being alone, we were all alone together. Um, <laughs> actually, this is sort of true in some ways. <laughs> it did feel like that, being alone together. Um, so that's why I started making videos and I think... In some ways, that dictated the kind of video I make. I don't spend much, if any, time editing. I really like watching videos with lower production values. Um, most all videos I watch have more production values than mine. <laughs> because, of course, they do. But, you know... I, I, I mean, I, I do what I do, and that's, that's okay with me. Um, so predominantly I watch videos on fountain pen-related things, on sewing-related things. Though more quilting now, in some ways, those are really nice videos to watch. I, I tend to watch a lot of videos that it's easy to fall asleep to. Because a lot of them I started getting into, so I had something to watch to fall asleep. <laughs> and there are channels I watch that that's their sole purpose. There are about hobbies that I am not going to get into. Uh, I don't even really have interest in them. But they're very soothing, and I like watching them for that purpose. Put me, knock me right out. Even though they're interesting. Please, you know. Um, so, that's my YouTube journey, I feel like every time I have started this video, I have covered different things and now I don't know what I've spoken about and I still feel like I should just delete this. I deleted several other versions, but here, we, like, I'm gonna, we'll see. Do I delete it or not? <laughs> um can't remember if there's anything else I want to say. This is awkward. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Feel free. Um, if you've got any questions burning to have to have me answer, feel free to leave a comment with them and maybe I will want like have a list. I'm, I can talk at length and then, but generally it's very rambly unless I make notes ahead of time. And that would require preparation. I'm pretty much already covered that I don't really do that for my videos. <laughs> so I hope when you're seeing this, you're having a wonderful day. I hope you get some sunlight in your day, even if it's just neon colored fabrics. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for indulging uh, my video creation. Take care of yourselves. Bye.